Mother's Day is a one day of the year where everyone gathers to show appreciation to their moms in their lives. Mother's Day 2021 wasn't an exception in Bailey's family's home. Tristan and her sister Sophia supposed to get up and prepare Mother's Day breakfast. And Sophia came down and she got things running as Sophia typically would. And then shortly after that her day was shattered. At around 9.40 a.m. in Street Johns, Florida, Tristan's siblings went to wake her up to help with breakfast, but she wasn't in her room. The family searched the house in the immediate area, but could not find the 13-year-old girl. At about 10 a.m., her mother, Stacy Bailey, called 911. She described Tristan as a 13-year-old girl, approximately 5 feet 4 inches, 130 pounds, a 7th grade student who attended Patriot Oaks Academy. Stacy said Tristan was last seen at approximately midnight by one of her siblings speaking on FaceTime with an unknown white male. Tristan was last seen wearing what they believed to be a white cheer shirt and dark shorts. Tristan's mom said to her knowledge, Tristan had never snuck out of the house before, and it wasn't like her to go missing. She reported that Tristan's cell phone was not in her bedroom, and when she called it, it went straight to voicemail. Locations including Snapchat locations were turned off, and despite Tristan once having her location visible in the Life360 app, she had stopped sharing it. Stacy, Tristan's mother said that Tristan was in three different cheerleading squads, and had recently been spending time with friends in the neighborhood. She had been a bit standoffish lately, and spent a lot of time in her room. But that night she didn't seem upset. Tristan had never said anything about running away or harming herself. She wasn't on any medications, but admittedly felt she didn't do anything right lately. Tristan also didn't have a boyfriend. A missing child alert was issued, and sheriff's deputies, friends, and neighbors began to search the area, the school, the recreation center and even a nearby veterans park. Police state. We saw moms and families yesterday walking the wood line in clothes like church clothes. This is how passionate they are about solving the case. St. John's County Sheriff's deputy ordered a ping order for Tristan's cell phone, in an effort to narrow their search area as well as moved forward with interviewing people she had been in recent communication with. They started with Dolphus Trey Absher III. According to Dolphus, Tristan and another boy, Aiden Fucci, from the same school year came to his house that night to hang out. Tristan and Aiden left his house together at about 1 a.m., and at the time Tristan was wearing a black and gray t-shirt with the word pink across the front and black sweatpants. Aiden Fucci, also a 7th grade student at Patriot Oaks Academy, same school as Tristan, confirmed Dolphus's story after being interviewed by police and with the consent of his mother, Crystal Smith. Aiden showed Deputy Maloney where he and Tristan went after leaving Dolphus house. Aiden's story didn't really make sense and he changed his story couple times. Police got suspicious after it seemed odd. It would take Aiden approximately two hours to walk from Dolphus house to his house as he claimed, the distance that should have only taken 28 minutes. According to Aiden, he and Tristan got into an altercation and he forcefully pushed Tristan to the ground which caused her to strike her head. He said he was not sure if he saw Tristan get up due to him being dizzy from smoking a marijuana earlier at Duffus house. After getting Tristan's phone records, police found that the last ping was at the center of the radius within a wooded area south of the Loop Nursery, located at 4842 Racetrack Road. Additionally, the data source showed that Tristan's cell phone was no longer actively sending signals. The last activity on Tristan's phone was an incoming voice call at approximately 12.25 a.m. on May 9, 2021, from a phone number later identified as Aiden Fucci. One specific Snapchat message came to police attention of Aiden Fucci in the back seat of a patrol car taking a selfie while holding up a peace sign. The message has been forwarded at least twice, and included additional text banners. We're, we're having fun in a f***ing cop car. Yep. Tristan, what's up, guys? Yeah. Tristan, if you fucking walk out the damn when you see this in a month, this in a cop car, guys, tripping, dude. And then a gruesome discovery was made. 
At 6 p.m. on the 9th of May, Sheriff's Office received a call and was advised that a body was located in a wooded area east of the cul-de-sac on Saddlestone Drive. It was later identified as Tristan Bailey. Tristan was laying on her right side, wearing a black Victoria's Secret shirt with the word pink on the front, black Nike brand sweatpants, and black and white slip-on Vans brand shoes. Tristan's hair were matted with blood. She had multiple sharp force injury wounds on her hands, arms, neck and back. In the crime scene, police located a gold-toned ring, a cell phone later identified as Tristan's cell phone, a $20 bill, and a pink vape device. They also located a possible shoe impression within the wooded area. Police retrieved ring videos of Tristan and Aiden walking towards the area where Tristan has been found and another video of only Aiden running away from the area whilst carrying his shoes at 3.27 a.m., so one hour and 42 minutes later they've been seen walking to there. You can also see Aiden coming back to his house barefoot, still carrying his shoes. Aiden was arrested and placed in interview room with his father, Jason, and mother, Crystal Smith. Crystal advised Aiden the girl, referring to Tristan, was found in their neighborhood, down the main street. Is she good? No, she's dead. That's why this is very important. It's all on you right now. How is it my problem? You, you were, were the, the last, last one, one seen, seen with, with her. her. Do you understand this is a serious situation? Yes. The Snapchat, you posted in the back of the police car was not a smart idea. We've been receiving threats because of it. Do you have any scrapes or anything on you? No, sir. Did you tell the police anything different? which neither me or Crystal know. No. What were you doing outside that late at night? I was at the office house hanging out. Did you kiss or do anything with them? I kissed Tristan, but that's it. So your DNA is going to be on her? We saw your shoes were off on the camera. Why were your shoes off? Because my feet were hurting, and those shoes give me blisters. Because of the Snapchat you and office took in the back of the police car, people on social media believes. You and office raped and murdered Tristan. Is there anything to worry about? No. Why were you wet when you got home? Because I was wet. Because I spilled water from a cup on myself. Detectives are going to go home and collect the clothes you were wearing. There will be nothing on those clothes, right? No, sir. Did you wear khakis or blue jeans? Blue jeans. Are you sure there is nothing on them? Because I don't think so. Why? Blood. When we looked on the camera, you were wearing khakis. Right? This appeared to be Crystal, attempting to convince Aiden, he was wearing khaki pants instead of blue jeans, contrary to his previous response. After police searched Aiden's residence, they found a pair of wet white Nike athletic shoes covered with blood, white, short sleeve t-shirt covered with blood, white piece of paper with handwriting and blood, located in Aiden's bedroom, pair of wet blue denim jeans, located inside of the laundry basket. The drain of the bathroom sink appeared to have dirt residue. The drain was tested for blood, which yielded a positive result. Finally, Aiden Fucci was arrested and charged with second-degree murder for his suspected involvement in Tristan's murder. After Tristan's autopsy, some chilling discoveries were made. Tristan appeared to have hand prints on her thighs and calves. She was found to have a total of 114 stab or cutting wounds concentrated to the top of her head, back of her neck, the back of both of her arms and hands, and her back. Based on the nature of the injuries, it appeared the suspect was standing behind Tristan and came at a downward angle. The dive team located a Buck brand folding knife with a wooden brass handle that matched the black Buck brand knife sheath found at Aiden's room. The tip of the knife was bent and fractured. The knife was recovered from near the southern end of the large pond east of the Saddlestone cul-de-sac, 140 feet from where Tristan was located. Aiden Fucci was described by other kids in his school as a bad kid. Aiden was the textbook definition of what you would call a numb kid. He has no feelings towards anyone, no feelings towards himself. Allegedly, Aiden's eyes always appeared glossy, describing them as having no meaning to them. Kids stated Aiden was the type of person you would see as a murderer. He just doesn't care. According to Aiden's friends, he would take girls into the woods to smoke marijuana and vape. He was a person who did not care about anything and wouldn't seem to get mad about anything, unless someone really tried to make him mad. 
way before murders, Aiden would say things like, my crush is killing people. Aiden has made comments about killing people, slitting someone's throat, or stabbing people, but did not mention anyone specifically. Aiden's friends didn't think Aiden was serious about these kinds of statements, and it was more like a way of coping with his home life. Once Aiden said, it would be satisfying to watch the blood drain out. Aiden talked about killing people, wanting to fight people, and often made stabbing motions, with and without, a knife in his hand. Aiden and Tristan were mainly friends, however, Aiden wanted to move in on Tristan, but had a girlfriend. According to Dolphus, Aiden came to his house on Saturday, May 8, 2021 to hung out. After playing some video games and smoking marijuana, Dolphus suggested to ask Tristan over, as he would hung out with her quite frequently. Aiden asked for Tristan's phone number, called her, and convinced Tristan to leave before her sister went to bed. After Tristan came over, she was mostly hunching out with Aiden outside, smoking weed and chatting. Both of them left Dolphus' house at about 1 a.m., and Dolphus went to bed. Next morning after finding out that Tristan is missing, and police is involved, Dolphus FaceTimed Aiden. He observed a little bit of panic in Aiden's face during the call. When Dolphus and Aiden was at the back of police car together, Aiden talked about blood being on his pants from cutting his finger a while back. Aiden talked about making Snapchat memories, so they both made short videos and pictures to post to Snapchat. Then Aiden made a joke about both of them going to the same prison. Dolphus was questioned by police, provided every evidence he was asked and cooperated with the police. He later was released with no charges. Aiden's girlfriend Zofi said that Aiden had anger issues and hated the things he did when he was angry, which he told Zofi was to throw things. Zofi has seen Aiden be violent, and always carried a knife with him whenever he was out of school. One of his knives was a folding knife with a wooden and brass handle, which Aiden called poker. Zofi said Aiden talked about killing people frequently, and even made previous statements about wanting to kill her. Aiden would take his knife out and pretend to stab her with it. Sometimes Aiden would surprise Zofi from behind, put the knife to her throat, and pretend to slit her throat. Within the last month Aiden was saying how he was going to murder someone. Murder was going to be planned, he would find a random person, walking at night, drag them into the woods, and stab them. Aiden said this murder was going to happen soon, and she should expect it within the month. Aiden would say how he would act innocent after the murder, run away, make people believe he was dead and continue killing people. Zofi then admitted that she spoke with both Dolphus and Aiden on Sunday, May 9, 2021, the day after the murder, as the two of them were in the back seat of a patrol vehicle. Aiden was saying how he spent time with Tristan the night before. Aiden previously told his girlfriend about a pond where he would go to smoke weed, however, Zofi had never been there. Aiden would draw graphic pictures depicting mutilated bodies, and claimed to hear voices in his head when he was angry. The voices would tell him he was worthless and a disappointment, and to kill people. Apparently Aiden knew something was wrong with him and wanted to reach out for help. After Aiden was arrested, another CCTV video came to light of Aiden's mother, Crystal Smith. She can be seen on her home cameras carrying around what appears to be blue jeans, washing them and trying to conceal something. On Saturday, June 5, the St. John's County Sheriff's Office announced Crystal, 35, Fucci's mother, was arrested for allegedly tampering with evidence. Police said Crystal surrendered herself to the custody of the St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Crystal is charged with tampering with evidence. And that's what we know so far. Aiden Fucci's trail date hasn't been set yet and he's awaiting for it in the solitary confinement in adult prison. He is going to be charged as adult due to the nature of the crime. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to see more of my true crime coverage.